filling up gas. Getting ready to go to Indiana. Gotta get a deal in today. Alrighty then, just filled up with gas. It's time to go to Valparaiso, Indiana. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Jordan Stupar and as you can see, I am not in my studio. I'm not in my office, I'm not, not there. I'm behind the wheel right now of the tank. The tank is my Toyota 4Runner and uh, if you happen to be in the market for you know a reasonably priced SUV that's rugged, that looks good, and gets horrible fuel economy, you're definitely gonna wanna get one of these. I'm driving right now from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where my office is and where I'm from and where I live, down to Valparaiso, Indiana. I've never been to Valparaiso, I don't think. Um, I know I never hung out there, so I'm kind of excited to see what it's like. Got to drive through Chicago and during, it's still kind of like quarantine-y, COVID-19-ish, so I'm, I'm really fingers crossed, hoping and praying that we don't run into any traffic in Chicago because traffic in Chicago, if you haven't been, it sucks. Now with that being said, this video right here, why I wanted to make this while I'm driving, is to let you guys in on a little bit of a tip and a trick that I've been using for the last couple of years that has dramatically increased my ability to win business and win sales. This trick that I'm going to teach you is going to do four things for you. So the first thing that getting in front of a client and traveling to get in front of them is gonna do for you and your business is it's going to establish a relationship. There's nothing better, guys, than getting in front of somebody, being able to shake their hands, look them in the eyes, and do some business with them. It, it's good for trust, it's good for respect, it's good for, there's, there's really not a drawback of getting in front of your client, minus the time that it might take to get there or the cost to you to travel, jump on a plane, a hotel, whatever that whole setup might look like for you. But I've been getting in front of clients now for the last couple of years and it's dramatically improved the, the relationships that I actually have with those clients. And I'll get to more of that in point number three, but look, at the end of the day, People like doing business with people. They like doing the handshake. They like being able to see the person that they're signing a contract with or you know, paying. And so jump in a car, get on a plane, get on a train. If you have a client that you know has maybe been apprehensive about doing business with you, maybe there's a good chance that getting in front of them will improve your ability to close them or, or get them to make sense out of doing something with you. And so that would be my first tip, and it's something that I've done uh, countless times. I've spent countless amounts of money and getting on planes and traveling and staying at hotels and, and doing what I need to do to actually get in front of people to start and create and establish that relationship with them. Now, unfortunately, you can't get in front of every single client every single day. I believe that could potentially be a waste of time, which is why I'm gonna have to climb into the back seat over here hook up the Wi-Fi to my phone, and I'm gonna have to do a screen share demo from the side of the freeway. <laughs> See how that works out. Ugh. All right, well, here in the back of the, of the tank now, it, it is time to do a demo. Found a nice shady spot somewhere here in Illinois by a gas station. And all I gotta say about it, what a time to be alive. You know, like, got my MacBook and all I gotta do is set it up on Wi-Fi from my phone and I can literally do a screen share demo from the back seat of my car. Pretty cool, right? I'm gonna do this demo and I'll get back with you guys for point number two, three, and four. I have no idea how this video is working out for me. Comment below if this is, if I'm doing a good job. All right, well, demo's done. Gotta get back on the road. We still have 97 miles left to go. And now, since I was on that demo, I gotta hurry things along. So in addition to establishing a relationship and, and doing business by shaking hands and getting in front of people, the second thing that getting in front of clients helps you do 
is it helps you differentiate yourself from any competitors that you may or may not be aware that you're competing with. See, chances are pretty good that none of my other competitors, if there are any competitors involved in this deal, chances are pretty good they're not gonna take a flight, they're not gonna jump in their car, they're not gonna drive two and a half hours. They're gonna rely on getting on a Zoom call or a screen share and just staying where they're at. Um, they don't wanna incur any expenses. They don't wanna take the time uh, required to travel. They don't want to uh, do some of the things that a guy like myself is willing to do in order to go and get the deal. So um, that's obviously very advantageous when um, you know differentiating yourself from any other competitors. The third thing that getting in front of your clients is gonna allow you to do is lay a real foundation for a continued relationship. Now, if you guys know anything about churn or you know cancellations or whatever you call it, attrition, um, you know that customers can switch services, they can move over to competitors, so on and so forth. And so if I'm the guy that actually decides to take some time out of my day to go and visit you and you know spend some time with you and if we're able to do something like dinner and create some memories and a relationship later on down the road those are all things for somebody to consider when shopping around or even canceling um, it, it greatly reduces the chances of your customer canceling on you or switching services um, just because maybe they found a better price or something this helps you and your company and your product be a lot stickier in the sales process after you do the deal so you're creating the relationship and you know again you're making memories so that's very helpful the fourth thing that getting in front of a customer is going to help you do is it's going to help you dramatically shorten your sales cycle and the amount of time that it takes to get a deal done with somebody when you're not in front of somebody there's a lot of space in between and I know that if you guys have been in sales a minute or even in business, you know that people can go dark and it's easy to decline your phone call. It's easy to forward somebody to voicemail. It's easy to never reply to a text message or an email or um, a social media message. And so bridging the gap and, and, and closing the gap between the proximity between you and your customer can dramatically, dramatically reduce your sales cycle and get things done because after all you're in front of somebody and you're 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 shaking their hand and asking for the deal and asking for the sale so that you can get things implemented and get things delivered and get things started it's just it makes more sense when you're there it just helps take time out of the equation and so I've been visiting customers now for years um, whatever it takes I've flown a, a bunch of times and spent tens of thousands of dollars on travel and I can tell you that it's made me way more money than it's cost me and it is safe to say that there is not an American city like a bigger city there's not a single place here in America where I wouldn't be able to find at least one client that would let me like crash on their couch like if I needed you know like help somewhere or like you know what I'm saying? Like, I just have friendships now all around the country, not because I've done business with these people over like a screen share or, you know, done it inside sales. It's because I left the inside sales environment, traveled to my client, and actually went and got me a deal. And that is what I'm doing today. So we'll see how this goes. Again, I think I am increasing my chances of closing this deal from 90% to 99.9%. .9%. I don't know if there's anything that could go wrong today, but I'm gonna do my best to eliminate any chances of that actually happening. So, Valparaiso, here we come. Back in the car, two and a half hours in a meeting, waiting to get a deal done, and we got the deal. So, my four points that I mentioned earlier about traveling and meeting clients, 
is true. It works, and I'm pumped up about that. Now I'm in Valparaiso. Back to Milwaukee it is. Two hours and 33 minutes, 148 miles. Let's get it.